First Rand's approach to international expansion, especially as a group that seeks to become the group of choice as an African financial services group, is to focus on growing our presence in those markets that we believe are going to give us superior returns. The way that we grow in the rest of Africa takes into account our focus on protecting our return on equity. And as such, we adopt three approaches in how we grow in the rest of Africa. For starters, we are able to use our balance sheet in South Africa for funding and getting involved in cross-border activities. And we've seen very strong growth, just over 70% coming out of RMB in cross-border activities, driven by the growth in a number of sectors, particularly infrastructure, oil and gas, telecommunications, as well as other areas such as agriculture. We also continue to see the increase in trade flows between particularly Asia, India and China into Africa, which also stimulates a lot of growth and activity uh, in various economies. The second strategy that we do follow is to establish new businesses. Over the last three years, we have established new businesses in Mozambique, Zambia, Tanzania, as well as Nigeria. And those businesses are starting to show some promise. Obviously, we're still in an investment phase, uh, but we're investing for the long term. Thirdly, we'll always look at opportunities for acquisitions where they make sense, where they do not put too much pressure on our return on equity. And certainly, where we make acquisitions, we prefer to make smaller acquisitions, not transformational big acquisitions, because those would tend to have a negative impact on our return on equity. India is doing very well. We believe that uh, the trade between India and Africa will continue to grow and that's why it is important for us uh, to establish ourselves, for instance, not just in India, uh, which we have operations in at the moment, but also to have a presence in East Africa. We have started a representative office in Kenya last year, which is already generating a lot of deal flow uh, because of the trade links between East Africa and India. So our African operations are doing quite well. We have more established operations and newer operations, but we take a long-term view in terms of how we're growing in the rest of the continent.